Hi everyone, Megan Cox here, and today we will be going deeper with the iMovie app and exploring some of the features and settings you have when creating a movie project. If you are interested in learning more about iMovie trailers, don't forget to check out our video, Getting Started with iMovie, linked in the comments below. To get started on a new project, tap the plus sign and select Movie. From here, you will be taken to your media on your device. You can tap multiple photos and or videos to add and then select create movie. From here, you will now see a preview of the timeline of your video as well as many different editing tools. To get familiar, simply tap the question mark in the top right hand corner. This will give you a quick view of what each button on the screen does. You can also turn it off. Once you have media added, you can select them by tapping them once. You will know which media is selected by the yellow frame. When something is selected, you have a toolbar at the bottom pop up with many different actions, such as Ken's Burns, or the ability to zoom on a photograph and adding motion to still images, filters, the ability to change the coloring, and titles. Titles should be chosen by your preferred appearance. The app does not allow you to change the font or color. Once you have selected your title, you can double tap on the screen to edit it at any time. If you want to preview your photo, you can simply move this white line called the playhead to a beginning point and hit the play button to get a preview of what your video looks and sounds like. If you do not want your photographs to move, then you can disable the Ken's burn effect and you will see that you get a still image. In between each media, you will have a transition button. To edit this, you can also tap it to put the yellow frame around it and change the length as well as the type of transition. At any point in time, if you would like to rearrange your media, you can simply press and hold to move or tap once to remove. If you would like to narrate over any photo or video, simply move your playhead to the beginning spot and hit the microphone to record. Once you see your voice is detected, hit record and wait for the countdown. Our universe. You will notice that my recording gives me the ability to retake, review, accept, or cancel. Now that I have accepted it, I have a recording thumbnail at the bottom. I can also press and hold this to move it around. I wanted it to go with a different image. I can also select my photo that I match it up with and drag this yellow bar so that the photograph and the audio match up. At any point in time, if you want to adjust your settings, simply click the cogwheel in the top right hand corner. You have various project filters, themes, as well as soundtracks to choose from. The themes have preset captions and colors and audio as well as transitions. Many of the presets help you make a project a little bit quicker. However, you can choose to customize these as you please. If you click this plus hand in the top right hand corner, you can choose to add audio. iMovie includes many built-in sound effects as well as soundtracks to help create your mood. And this is where you can add additional media. If you are wanting to layer photographs on top of each other, you can simply select a photo, go to add more photos, and tap the photo of your choosing. The plus sign will simply add it to my timeline. The three dots will allow me some options such as a cutaway, a picture-in-picture, -picture, split screen or side-by-side, 
or even a green screen where you can record yourself or any object to appear in front of the photo. Once you have gotten the media the way that you want it to appear, you can hit the done button in the top left hand corner. From here, you can tap to give your movie a title. You can go back and edit your video as needed. You can also play it, trash it, or share it. The square with the arrow will give you the ability to save the project to your video camera roll, as well as send it to various apps on your device. Thanks for joining us on Going Deeper with iMovie. Don't forget to check out our other videos and follow us on social media.